Hola, mi amigos. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what godly fear is? Let's talk about that after we pray. God, I pray that you would motivate us with a godly fear. Help us to see how good you are. Help us to be in reverent awe of you. And help us to know that you are powerful and that you only want good things for us. But, but that also means that we need to uh, leave our sin and follow you. I pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's turn to God's word. Our readings today are from Genesis chapter 7 and Hebrews chapter 11. Noah was 600 years old when the flood came and water covered the earth. So Noah, his sons, his wife, and his sons' wives entered the ark because of the flood waters. From the clean animals, unclean animals, birds, and every creature that crawls on the ground, two of each, male and female, came to Noah and entered the ark, just as God had commanded him. Seven days later, the flood waters came on the earth. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, on the 17th day of the month, on that day, all the sources of the vast watery depths op burst open. The floodgates of the sky were opened. The flood continued for 40 days on the earth. The water increased and lifted up the ark so that it rose above the earth. The, the water surged and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the surface of the water. Then the water surged even higher on the earth, and all the high mountains under the whole sky were covered. He wiped out every living thing that was on the face of the earth, from from mankind to livestock to creatures that crawl to the birds of the sky, and they were wiped off the earth. Only Noah was left, and those that were with him in the ark. By faith, Noah, after he was warned about what was not yet seen and motivated by godly fear, built an ark to deliver his family. By faith, he condemned the world and became an heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. Godly fear leads to repentance. Godly fear isn't merely being scared of God, it's being motivated by realizing that God is powerful and he can do whatever he wants. And when we have a godly fear of him, that motivates us to actually serve him, to heed his warnings. So when God says that he punishes sin, we take that seriously. We begin to want to live a life that is free from sin. Not that we'll ever get that perfectly, but if we believe God, then we'll at least attempt to serve him. We'll attempt to glorify him and we'll agree with him that our sin is wrong. Godly fear motivated Noah to actually believe God when he said that um, a flood was coming to destroy the earth. So think about the sin in your life and think, and think about the warnings that God has given you, both in his word and maybe even through maybe even through consequences that he's already allowed you to experience and seek to obey him, seek to make a plan to actually glorify him with your life. God bless you. Have a great day.